have a dream That's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Thing is, it's important to know what trademark is. I'm not going in depth about that. In the next live stream, I will answer some basic question about trademark, and then I'll explain exactly what trademark is. But technically, trademark is a brand. Yeah. If you are want to register your trademark, you register your brand for certain kind of products. They have those products in class. Also in the next live stream we'll talk about that. For now, it's just see how the website works and everything. Where do you need to do this? You need to do it at the IP office. Because we are in the Netherlands, it's better to do it at the Benelux office for intellectual property. And there for website, we're gonna look at the website, we're gonna look at the fees, everything that you need to know. But you need to do this at the buy. Um, Benelux office for intellectual property. The thing is, you can register it here, but let's say you want a trademark for whole Europe. That's a different process. We will talk about it in a different live stream. But for now, we are focusing on the this part where you are in Netherlands or you have a customer in Netherlands. You want to register your trademark. You want to know how it works. Yeah. Like I said, in the next live stream next video we will talk about okay what about trademark when is it apply or not we're going to just talk about the process when you start register and when you get a trademark it's this whole process yeah i'm going to show you how it works and i'll show you how the fees work so first thing first you have the website of the benelux office Technically on this website you get a lot of information and you see out there a lot of IP offers giving you a lot of um, services but you don't technically need it if you know what you are doing. I'm not saying that everyone should register the trademark themselves. What I'm saying is if you have a common sense you can do it yourself or you can do most of the work yourself and then hire someone. If you don't have the time you can let someone do it for you but make sure there's a communication between you and that person so if you look at this website you see here you find everything that you need sometimes on the website you miss some information but what i want you to keep in mind is if you don't have enough money to hire someone make sure you read the rules about trademark registration when you look at this website they give you not enough information it's just on website they explain to you a lot of things but it doesn't give you a lot of information the information you find it in the background the best way to get the information is to read the rules of the company so what you need to keep in mind is the this company it's not a company it's like a semi government uh, institute they have rules that they need to abide obey and those rules you can find it on their website so I'm going to show you where you can find it on those rules. So in this document, you can see what they can do and what they cannot do. Why do I say that? Most of the time people, when they get a letter, they do not know what to do. And most of the time you will find in the rules in the PDF, what you can do and what you cannot do, but you need to understand how the rules works. So let's say there's an, uh, you apply, you apply for a trademark. You fill the form, you fill everything in, you get a letter, you need to provide extra information. But you don't know how to do that. You can find those things in here. I'm going to show you where you can find these rules in a minute. But keep in mind, if you, something is not clear, read the PDF and then ask question. You don't have to read everything, but it's easy to find what you want if you just follow the index or the content. So keep that in mind, they have rules that they need to follow. And when something goes wrong, they follow the rules. And most of the time, there are some things that you can see in there that can help you solve your problem. So let's talk about how can you find the rules. So if I go here, I'm on the website. See, I will arrive on the website. You go down. I'm talking about trademark, not design, not ideas. No, no, no. I'm talking about trademark. Yeah. So if you go here, you see a lot of information, but in order to, for me to find the, the rules, I just press the Benelux EU or international. 
and here you see a lot of information you can read it if you have time you can read it but for me it's important the rules i want to know the rules because here you see frequent asked question but most of the time those questions are not your question so we're gonna go here benelux we're gonna press this let's open this as a new tab because i need to use this tab again but um, you see here Benelux Convention on Intellectual Property. So that means these are the rules that this institute needs to follow. So we download it. We're not going to download it in this case, but uh, let's do it. I want, didn't want to download it, but uh, here. Here you see the document itself. You see the index. Yeah, they didn't do it. But okay. Here you see the document. They explain what it is and which three country are connected with this document. So you see this document here, I already downloaded it. So we're gonna switch to the original document so we can talk about some things about it in the document. So as you can see, it's a document I already downloaded. And here, if you want to register a trademark at this institute for Benelux for intellectual property, you can register for the Kingdom of Belgium, Luxembourg and Netherlands. So for three, these three countries, keep that in mind. When you register for the Netherlands, here, you can get it for these three countries because they are close together. Yeah. So here they explain what it is and all these things. And here you find the rules about it, general rules and all the stuff. Thing is, if you want to know what a trademark is, you go to article 10. We will talk about that in another video. Yeah, trademark, title trademark. You see? Uh, um, I say article 10 about the uh, mistakes here. Yeah. But here you see what can be a trademark. If you ask yourself what trademark is. And here you will see absolute grounds for refusal. So if you file a trademark and it gets refused it can be because of this reason and they have it summarized here that's simple but if you file it went past the first gate then it can also be refused because of this but this is a complicated story we will talk about it in the live stream but you see here they explain literally why something can be refused or not but uh, that's how it is. So this is how you can find the rules. So if you have question about this or question about trademark in the Netherlands or you want to register your trademark, just go on the Discord. So you go here on the Discord on the Law Center, you press it and you go there on the channel. You can ask your question. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to support the stream, make sure you buy me coffee or donate to the stream. You can do that on this link. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gonna get it. You hear me, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.